Is axis specification in zebrafish robust to altered gastrulation morphogenesis? During early development, the main cell types of the embryonic body plan are specified as the morphogenetic movements of gastrulation establish the primary germ layers and begin to shape the embryo. Precisely how pattern formation can occur in the context of these extensive cell rearrangements is unknown. Germ layer specification depends on the inheritance of maternal mRNAs, cortical rotation to generate a pole of beta-catenin activity, and the release of nodal signals from the yolk syncytial layer. To determine if germ layer specification is robust to altered cell cell positioning, we explant blastomeres at the 256 cell stage and culture them in vitro for seven hours. We term these explants pescoids. We see that culturing blastomeres in this way results in elongation of the explant and generation of all three germ layers. We observe TBXTA expressed in the posterior, SOX2 in the anterior, and SOX17 expressed through the center of the explant. These three genes mark the mesoderm, ectoderm, and endoderm. We wanted to test whether pre-patterning from the yolk prior to explanting of the blastomeres was regulating the elongation and germ layer formation. To do this, we cut pescoids as normal, dissociate them to generate a pool of single cells, and then carefully re-aggregate these cells by sweeping them together and monitoring them under a microscope. We observed that when we failed to re-aggregate all the cells together, Explants still reproducibly express TBXTA. On rare occasions, when we reaggregate all the cells together, our explants both elongate and express TBXTA. To test whether cell mixing is happening in pescoids that haven't been dissociated, we label pescoids in two ways. First, we label small patches of cells using a nuclear localized photoconvertible protein immediately after explanting the pescoid. After three hours in culture, we observe mixing of the labeled and unlabeled cells, with labeled cells spread across the entire pescoid. We demonstrate that vegetable most blastomeres also undergo significant mixing by injecting these cells with a fluorescent high molecular weight dextran at the 64 cell stage, prior to cutting the explant at the 256 cell stage. We observe that after six hours in culture, the labeled cells are found across the entire explant. This demonstrates clearly that any pre-patterning information provided to the cells from the yolk prior to explanting is distributed across the entire explant before elongation occurs. We therefore conclude the initial pre-pattern established by early developmental signals can be removed and yet the explant can continue to pattern the primary germ layers even in the context of extensive cell rearrangement. We observe that in early pescoids prior to elongation, activity of two major signaling pathways, BNP and Wnt, are uniformly distributed across the pescoid as shown here by stainings for BNP7 and a Wnt activity reporter. Over time, we observe that these two domains separate with BNP localized in the anterior and Wnt localized in the posterior. In between these two domains, we observe expression of the hindbrain marker Crox20. This can be seen on the top line. When we inhibit morphogenesis through injection of a dominant negative disheveled construct, which blocks convergence and extension movements, or by using the drug blevastatin, we observe that pescoids do not elongate. When elongation is blocked, we observe that the BMP and Wnt domains do not fully separate to generate this low BMP, low Wnt domain. This also leads to an inhibition of Crox20 expression. Therefore, we conclude that explant elongation is required for setting up a rudimentary anterior-posterior axis in pescoids. Together, these results highlight how robust pattern formation is to cell rearrangement in early development. They suggest that the global cell movements leading to embryo elongation may themselves be important for patterning embryonic axes. It highlights the importance of improving our understanding of the complex interplay between cell specification and morphogenesis to gain a complete picture of body plan formation in vertebrate embryos.